Hi, this is Jason with INET Solution. In this screencast, I want to show you our view state pusher module, tell you why we created it, and show you what it does. What we're looking at here is a typical product detail page on an ASP.NET e commerce website. You can see here that we have a lot of quantity input fields on this page, and those are actually our only input fields. Now, if we switch over and view the source on this, we can see that appearing above most of the actual product content that we would want Google and other search engines to index and pick up, we have an enormous amount of view state data. Many SEO experts have come to us when we're working with them to optimize e-commerce sites and asked us if there's anything we can do to eliminate this. And there are certain choices that you can have when setting up your view state. Um, but in this typical scenario, we wanted to see if there was a way that we could move view state below all of the content that we would want indexed, such as part numbers, prices, etc. So what we did was created a view state module that we call view state pusher. You can see that all we need to do in order to use this is simply add it as an HTTP module, reference it in our web.config. It's literally just one line. The net result of that is for a page like this, which before would have view state immediately beneath the opening form tag. Now will appear all the way at the bottom, right before the closing form tag. So from a search optimization standpoint, we've moved all of our important content higher within the rendered HTML on the page. The SEO experts that we've worked with theorized that this should allow Google to place higher relevance on this content that appears higher in the page. It's really as simple as purchasing the component, adding one line to your web.config, and then deploying the component in your new web.config to your site, and view state will now appear lower in your rendered HTML. So there you have it. We hope you'll try it out. I appreciate you watching this screencast. And as always, we encourage your feedback and tell us if there's any way that we can make this better. Thank you.